Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. In the previous video, we have talked about what are the JavaScript functions. In this video, we will talk about what are the arrow functions in JavaScript. Arrow functions were introduced in ECMAScript 6 and arrow functions is basically we say that it is a compact alternative for our traditional functions that we have used and it is also much easier to read and much easier to write these arrow functions but they have some limited functionality and we cannot use in all the situations when we talk about all the situations that means they don't have their this or super keyword they don't also have new dot target keywords we haven't talked about these and we will not talk about these in this course because these are mainly uh, we'll say that uh, mainly related to the javascript and we are not completely into the javascript we are just having an overview so we will not talk about these things as well and we cannot call uh, like we, these are not suitable for using a call method or apply method or bind methods these are also the methods which we have not discussed and these are basically out of a scope for this particular course and these cannot be used as a constructors that means we cannot have a class we cannot create a class using our arrow function this basically we will see how we are going to create the constructor using our traditional functions into the coming videos this is a very simple structure of our arrow functions if you see this is the name of your functions these are the parameters this is arrow this is what we are talking about and this is also known as fat arrow and these are your opening and closing parentheses which denotes a function now let's quickly see a various demo for this we'll talk about one method and we'll take that method into the various a conversation of conversion basically a conversion of our arrow functions so what we will do is we'll quickly add we'll quickly create a method we'll say that we are going to add two numbers we'll say that function add and this is going to return what it is will return it is simple it is going to return a plus b that's it now if we wanted to write this in the form of arrow functions how we'll do that so we'll say that add is going to say that equal and there are going to be two parameters so we'll say that a colon b and then we will open our uh, we'll say that okay this is our uh, arrow functions fat arrow opening and curly braces and we'll say that return a plus b you can also have a space over here and then hit enter if you wanted to call you say that okay add and three comma four and you will get seven okay now there is something if uh, you can have this you say that add and you can also say that like this uh, you say okay we have got uh, a plus b and if you call this add and you again say that okay you have got 5 comma 3 and you will say it is saying that 8 the name is same so i'm going to say that it is going to have add uh, a so that we can say it is an arrow function and we can call this uh, function again say that 3 colon 5 and it is going to return 8 just to make sure that our own method is calling so if you see here right we've got this a or b we can also convert this function further we say that okay and it is going to have uh, a or b like this it is also going to work so if we copy this and paste it over here we'll say 8 if you wanted to Written an object, right? So that if you wanted to return an object, so how you will do that? So suppose that if you wanted to return an object, say that first name, call and last name, okay? First name, say that you wanted to say that Amit. So how you will get? So now if you say that add a, and you are having these parameters, you are getting the seven. Okay, sorry, this is add, not add a. We'll say add a. We are getting nothing, right? Because this as soon as you say okay as soon as you open a curly braces it always treat that opening and curly braces as a part of your function and then this is treated as nothing if you wanted to return this complete thing all you can do is you can just go ahead and modify the same method wrap your object within a curly braces okay hit enter and now if you say that add a and you've got this you see here now we got uh, first name colon Amit. So that is one thing related to an object. If you don't have any parameters, say that hello. So how you can have is you can say that hello, 
and it is going to say that so uh, assignment to a constant variable i think we did created a hello so we'll again uh, name it as hello a and we'll say that okay this is going to be hello a and it is going to return hello there is no parameter in this function so if you can pass this uh, you can always have like this if you want it to have you can also have a function like this which is going to say that hello okay there is nothing okay we got that extra parenthesis you can see here there is nothing but how you call that is the key thing over here because you haven't given the name okay so if you say that okay you got it nothing so that is basically uh, you can also have kind of things but this is not a recommended way i just wanted to show you like this is how you can have your uh, functions right now if you wanted to have uh, some sort of say that okay you've got let uh, so that you've got a q function so you can say that okay now you've got three parameters so you can say that a a a b and c and you can ha have your arrow functions and you can even if you don't want it to have you can say that okay a c and you just hit enter you get the error because cube is already defined just need to make the change uh, make the change to the name and you say that okay cube a and you can pass whatever you want it to have like basically uh, it's not actually the cube because we are passing three parameters and we are getting whatever the multiplication of these parameter is so that is how you are getting the arrow functions in uh, lightning components in some of the components i have used arrow functions in some of the components i have used the traditional functions so it's up to you which one you wanted to use but uh, arrow functions is something which is uh, widely used these days. So if you ask my recommendation, I will say just go ahead and use arrow functions. Now we talked about this doesn't have like arrow functions doesn't uh, the, uh, doesn't have its own this parameters, right? So we have got this object. We said that say hello, and here we say that this is going to refer this dot first name. Okay, it is going to alert it, and then we will also have said that we have got a method called a and this is an arrow method arrow function that is how we can use arrow function and what we will do is we'll say that okay console dot log and what we'll say that this dot uh, first name will also print and this dot first name and we'll say that this okay and then we'll also have one more method over here i'll say this is going to be b okay it is going to use a normal function we are going to use a normal function over here we'll say that function and we'll also say that this dot let's say quickly say that this dot last name and colon this over here in the console so this is console and uh, this should also console so we'll say okay well dot log and this okay yeah so now we'd say that you just dot say hello and we'll say that user dot a and we'll also say that user dot b hit enter so you see here for the first this is a normal function it is referencing to the this variable and able to get this variable and if you see here now we say that okay user dot b is not a function okay because we haven't used a b so we have to use b over here instead of a now we've got this and then you can see here this is the arrow function when we when we say that this dot first name it is referencing to undefined it is saying that okay this is not defined now the second one is this parameter okay what it is saying is it is saying that it is a global window so by default this refers to the global window that is why we have got the complete global window over here and if we talk about the second which is user dot b where we have got the name the last name and the complete object which is having first name last name and all the functions that we have like a and b it's not having i'm oh, sorry uh, yeah say hello a and b so these are all the, the complete declaration about the objects that we did so this is the one like thing that we have uh, the limitation we cannot use this keyword inside arrow functions there is a alternative way for using this uh, this keyword in the arrow functions now let's quickly talk about that if we wanted to use how we can use that so uh, basically to fix this we have to use the traditional method which is like uh, uh, if we wanted to fix this right what we have to do is we say that okay it is a function and then uh, sorry 
is going to be a and then it is going to be function instead of our arrow function so we'll say that it's a function and then here we can have this dot first name and this and if you say okay hit enter we got the alert and um okay we got this but it is saying that uh, uh, we got the object but for the first name yeah i think there is a type of mistake over here that is why we are getting undefined over here so uh, basically uh, as as it says right that arrow function doesn't have that this they don't have a new they also don't have arguments so these kind of things are not there and if you wanted to use this and uh, uh, arguments and new keywords and then in that case you have to go with the traditional method that is why when javascript launched these arrow functions they did not deprecate their uh, traditional functions that they already have so uh, this is it for this video uh, thank you for your time and in the coming video we'll talk about what are the various console methods uh, one we have already talked about console.log but there are too many other methods that we are going to uh, talk into the coming videos thank you